How about you, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today, the first thing we've got to do is get their 1975 project truck turned around and put in the bay. So who's driving? Um, me. <laughs> yeah, all right. So we got to get in here and get down. I'm going to take the TYM T574 and get it. Uh, we're just going to push it on the bumper and see if you can uh, get it put in the bay. We're going to, make, we're going to go around our, our elbow to get to our wrist, so to speak. But So get in there, turn, turn the key, put it in neutral. And then I'm gonna push you around and just go, just make a loop all the way around and uh, get in the bay. All right, Dove, you wanna drive the tractor? Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on, you can drive the tractor. Okay, turn your switch on. This one? Nope. This one? Yeah, key.
The light still works. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get that steering column out of there. All right. Okay. So let me show you. The, the, it's not very difficult at all. It's only a few bolts and nuts, and uh, we can get it taken care of. Now, let me get a. I'll get a step for you as well. Okay. <laughs> the first thing we want to do. Uh huh. Somebody needs to get in there and take that. That bolt right there. Yeah. So this is a steering column, right? And so there's there's a bolt right there that has to be removed. So let's figure out what size that is and remove it. Let's see. Let me see what size it is and then we'll get you started. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need like any TV blasters. Right? Perfect. Yeah, I need that. But I, I got to... Uh, the other side. Yeah. Three quarters is too big, so what's that, 11, 16? Uh, three quarters on this side, uh, still, still too big. 11, 16. Okay, that's what it is. On one side or both? Let me see. Both, it looks like, yeah, okay. yeah. But we'll have to try to get it. You want to Well, maybe. Um, so let's go with, no, not that. Um, Kurt, let's get, um, so there's a ratchet. You want to do a half inch drive on this and a short extension? That, this side looks a little stripped. Good job. Look <laughs> at that. <laughs> Way to go. That just don't feel like that ain't, that ain't for some reason that ain't right. That's too big. Is that not going but, in there right? Let me see. All the way? So there's a button right here that you push. So push it's the black button. All the way. Oh. There you go. Good job. Alright. Alright, so we'll take that out. So remember. Does it matter what side I start on? Yeah, we're going to see. right here. That's the size we need. Can you reach it? <laughs> I think. There you go. Maybe. Try to get you. There you go. <laughs> All right. So we probably need a long. There's a. A breaker bar. Let's go with a. If you can go with a half inch drive, there's a breaker bar. Yeah, right there. Here, Dad. There you go. Alright, now you can probably use that. Now you can yeah, use that's that. what I was saying. It was hard though, I couldn't. Alright, now you can use that. You got it. Good job. Come on, driver. How the heck did you do that? I am going down. <laughs> Below the mouth. Okay, let me get you this. Get one. it on there. And I can do it. Maybe. Alright, try that. Before it comes off and falls on the floor, we'll try to see if you can get it with your finger after it. You know, you can feel with the you can feel with the ratchet if it's loose enough to get with your finger. No. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Like you can feel how extremely loose it's starting to get. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Good job. All right, so now we'll take this out. Now let's. What I like to do. Is, is I like to put the, the nuts back on it mm -hmm. so we don't lose them, okay? Kay. And then, uh, Z, there's a magnet tray on the side of the red box on the, on the, on the side of it. There you go. Good job. Okay, so now we just take this off here. All right, that, that will, let me get a, uh, let me get a bungee cord because Oh, we got two more. I'm sorry, we got two more screws to take off. We got this one here and, and this one, but we don't need two ratchets or we don't need two sockets because 
that's molded into that little collar. Um, let me see what size that is. I think it's smaller than 11 16. Yeah, it looks small. You don't mean to try and put it on this side? Yeah, you got a, you got a smaller socket. Uh, Z. Let's look for a... It might be a Here. 9 16. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I'll get this one and you can have the other. Okay. Is that it? I need a swivel. Go from the top, straight down. Mm. <laughs> top straight down ain't working too well. Wobblies are the best. Go straight down. That's not there right you there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, get on the get up there you go. Oh. Go backwards. Huh. Yeah, come on with it. It is good. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Let me get this other side <laughs> while y'all are working. Try, I can see. It's not on. <sighs> Working down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I need a swivel. Uh, yeah, they're in there. On the, I think they're on the right side where the black. Oh, you found it. Just so I can get straight on it. Ten four. Got it now. I can I just can't see that side. Hold this, Z. Give me that. <laughs> there you go. All right. Try it. You're not down on it. Uh -uh. I can't see it. Of course, there's always more. All right. I'll get the other side. I can't reach it. I can't. <laughs> I don't think I'll hold that. I don't think I need the swivel on this one. I think I just need the wobbly. Where's the wo where's the other extension? Right there. So they call this a uh -oh. they call this a wobble, right? Because look at the see how the end of it is kind of rounded. Yeah. And that'll watch this. See it? it yeah. You know. It'll wobble. It'll wobble. It's crazy why they call it wobble. <laughs> I had no idea. That's why. Ain't that crazy? And so sometimes wobbles are better than uh, uh get on it. <sighs> Why is it not? Why are you not going in? I think it's just shaking the dirt off no, of it. You should put your hair up. I'll try. Let me try. Yeah, that would not be good. <laughs> you were moving it by hand. We're wrapped. You're not on it enough, I don't think. Because on this side, it's like... I, like, uh, I need a shorter socket. See how long that socket yeah, is? Yeah, here you go. Shorter socket, please. Simply the best. Micro Pro Tools ratchet, please. <laughs> Mm. There you go. Eight to an inch at a time. That's right. <laughs> and these spark plug wires wasn't in the way. Yeah, what are you doing with these? This is custom. <laughs> yeah. Very. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Here, Z, what's grab brother, that. What's a brother got to do to get that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Now let's put the nuts back on there. So that now we got to go on the inside. So let's go get the. I got the stuff in there. All right. Well, well, so. You need to. You can yeah. actually use this. Okay. All right. So we're working on the steering column, right? So this is this is what we're taking off right here. Okay. So gonna move this out of the way here, and then we're going to. This wiring harness, we need to take this, we need to unplug this wiring harness. So, uh, Z, I mean, Dub, on the drawer right there, it says screwdrivers. Oh, that's the red uh, thing? A, some orange picks. Where'd that flashlight go? Um, yeah, what you need? Uh, an orange pick. Yeah, does it matter which one? Um, I don't think so. Is this too curved? Maybe the 90 degree angle one. Is that the one I have in my hand? No, that's this one. So underneath here, underneath here there's a, uh, um, like a neutral safety switch that you have to take off and then there's a, so this is what we got to disconnect here. See that little tab right there? Yeah. That's what I got pulled down. All right, so that part's connected, or disconnected, I should say. All right, so this is actually still attached to the steering column, which is okay because these wires go back up into here, okay? So we're, we're okay with that. Now, some people say go ahead and drop it and then release the other side, which we can do that. All right, so look here. See these, see this bolt right here? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get this one out. There's five of them total. There's one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, okay? So let's go, we can start with this top one up here if you want. what it is. So let's see if that, your daddy's, your daddy's hooking you up with not, not giving you a, <laughs> without giving you a D-Walt. That's what I said to use. I said to use that D-Walt. Yeah, push that black button on top, please. Grab that knee walk with a long extension. Yeah. There right behind you, you. That way you got it. It's in the seat. It's right there. Grab that knee walk, put it on this Micro Pro Tool socket. Make quick work of it. All right, push hard. There you go. Now let's get this top one up here first. Can you see it? There you go. Good job. Yep. Come on with it. All right, good. All right, so now we need to keep track of these because we're going to use them again. It's on the right side of the okay, here, number two. Get that magnetic tool track. Put all the screws in. Listen, you can hear it. If Big or small? If it's tripping, you can hear it, okay? You might have to go on the other side. So let's get, bring, bring, come on this side of the brake pedal and see what happens. There you go. A little straighter shot there. There you go. Can you feel the difference? No, you get. Uh, come on, with it some more. There you go. Yep. All right. Uh, right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. Your hair smells nice. Oh, something. Did you... Yeah, go ahead. Did you get that gold? Oh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so that should be all that. <laughs> yeah, this one right here. There you go. You got really good. So that's ready to come out. Now the only thing we got to do is get these out of the way. I think this goes to like a stereo or something. We might just end up cutting it. Yeah, the radio doesn't work, so. Okay, so now we need this 
this, okay, look up under here and you can see this, this one with the blue paint. Mm -hmm. Can you see the blue paint on that? Yeah. Right here? Mm -hmm. And then there's another one over here? Yep. Okay, so we gotta get those off. So what size is that, you think? I don't okay. either. I have no idea. Or, um, can you get me one? Yeah, can you get that screw out there? There you go, good job. Should be off. Good job. Now. Oh shoot, where'd it go? Oh snap. Now we gotta get I actually don't know where it went. It's in here somewhere though. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Um, there's a piece, uh, you put <laughs> that GoPro just got me from a knock. Uh, Alright, hold on. We gotta do some more wiring. A little bit of wiring issue here. So we gotta take this. Mm -hmm. So there should be okay, that's all. And then that, I don't know what there is. should be a clip. That one don't even have a... There's a zip tie. So we got to definitely take these off right here. Uh -huh. In the toolbox. The whole truck is a toolbox. Come on. Let me spin this this way. No, I guess it's just got to go. Oh, to have good eyes again. Them good eyes. <laughs> All right, now I think I think it's ready. No, there's two clips on the back side you gotta get off. On uh, on the inside of the engine compartment. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like a little C clip that holds it on. All right. Uh, oh, no, Something. It. There's a. Go to your left. Yeah, I gotta spin it. Oh. Um, that ain't gonna fit. Yeah, yeah it will. It will. I promise it'll come out. Keep turning the whole thing left. Keep going left. Keep going left. Right. All right, there we go. Pull it out. <sighs> All right. All right, you got caught on every single thing coming <laughs> on the way out. All right, so a couple of things about that. Good job, girls. Here, Dad. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let me just explain. This is where your steering column goes, right? Uh huh. And then over here. Ew, why does it look like that in front? This is where your transmission hooks up to, right here. Uh huh. And the one that's in the floor, we're gonna get rid of that. And put put it back onto this. Okay. So when you when you shift this, it turns this. Mm -hmm. All right. So also, uh, this connection and this connection. And, but I didn't see a connection on this one, so that might, but it cranked. I, the, what's confusing me is it, that it cranked, and so I don't, I don't know. But anyway, nonetheless, um, the other ones will hopefully have, have this. So. But that's how you take a steering column out. Now we'll go get the new one, and uh, or the, the new to us one. Let me see if, if my guy's home. Uh, bigger, it's a half inch. I got this one. It's a half inch. Whatever the heck that, oh, that's just the part. Why? Yeah, that's not, that don't fit, it's too small. Here, Dad, that's too small. Yeah. Why? We gotta replace the U-joints. So our drive so this is called a when we're driving. Which side? It should, mark, it should be marked on there. What's 12 and this is 13. Okay, so let's try. You actually need a uh, closed end. Um, Clockwise, right? So you're gonna push up on it, yeah? No. There you go. Yeah. Can you get it in there? Oh no! No, it ain't fitting between this and this. Okay. Let me see. No. Uh, no. Yeah, that's gotta fit. I mean, yeah, but it's really tall. Like, see. Yeah, but it'll it'll catch it enough. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. You got an opening in Kurt? I didn't see that drawer. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. Oh, my stuff. Oh, that's not what we need. The whole set in there. <laughs> oh. Now 
I'm spending a while in the day. Just bump the plate. Not that. He's just looking for some wood, really. Mm. Z. Uh, we got to do this other side too, but we got to put the transmission in neutral. Uh, no! You can lock it. These are our sides back here. Uh, we need to put the new transmission in neutral to spin this around. Did she put it in neutral? It's fine. I can't. You need a half a 7 16 For the back side. Yeah. Alright. Golly. D. Double D. <laughs> Get the, start with them. All right, now put it back in gear, please. These ones right here? Yep, use the other end. That one's fit. So will that end. Uh oh. You gotta uh, go up with it. You gotta put uh, it back in gear now that we can reach it. <laughs> put it back in gear. Oh my god. Or in park. Oh. Yeah. Dad, I need your help. Well, well, it's moving with me, so it's yeah, not making that any it, easier. Put yeah, put it back in park. Got it? Yeah. Got it. I got it. Did you get it? I think. No. No. What in the world? <laughs> Here, let me get. Just start it on for me. Now I don't know if that rear end's going to need to be shimmed or not. He says it's got a knocking noise on it, so I'm just going to. Check the U joints here. I mean, I bought new ones, so I might as well replace them. But oh, I feel like I got some rust in my eyeball. Oh. Yeah, I need some safety glasses. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Do safety squints. Work by braille. Work <laughs> by braille. You got some matching wrenches? Yeah, in the uh, white cabinet under the on the very bottom drawer. Put that on there, it's make your life a lot easier. Oh, oh, there you go. Does it fit? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Michael Pro Tools. <laughs> brother, you can't hook a brother up with a half inch drive? Oh, you want one? <laughs> <laughs> take care of the girls. I see how it is. <laughs> you want me to take this whole little thing all Come the on, way out? Take it out. Mine don't fit. Huh? My ratchet ain't. Did you get this side already? No, um, no, no not that side. side. Just these two. Oh, golly. I know. There's no, you I don't want the drive shaft falling out. Oh, yeah. How in the world do you get this out? It ain't coming. That's probably as far as we go. Yeah. Once you get them all loose, uh, it'll slide. Oh, okay. I need that D wall. It just won't get in there. Um, Power oh, wall. It, uh, it only goes so far, and then we'll slide it, and it'll. It's on there, yeah. Hey, you fell out. You have to spin it around. There. Yeah, it's swinging in my way. You want to hold it tight, okay? There you go. Well, there's still a bolt on the top of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right, so let's... Uh... 
I just need to lean the whole thing like. No, you just put it in neutral. Then it'll yeah. Just okay. Dub, you gonna put it in uh, Z? You gonna put it in neutral? Cause I got one more bolt up here. I gotta get up. It's like like pushing up on it. It's not coming out. I've spun it all the way out. Yeah, I, don't, I no, think. Spin the drive shaft around. Well, and it, it's moving with the drive shaft. Yeah. It'll pull out one we. There we go. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right. Careful, this is gonna come out. All them little needle pins. Oh! oh. Yeah, all the needle pins will fall out. That's all right. We're replacing it. So, but there's still a bolt on this uh, top. All right. Oh, no. Take this. Take this right here, and let's turn it. Like that, perfect. All right, <laughs> watch yourself. Hey, be careful. <laughs> Needle bearings everywhere. Yeah, they are. You can't lose them on the new one. Uh, where's my half inch? It's on the. Uh... Well, I didn't know something was gonna just start dripping out all over me. So those are called needle bearings. You know, you wanna guess why? Because they look like little needles. <laughs> <laughs> What do they do? And you and you joints mean universal, and it makes the drive shaft to be able to flex mm -hmm. with the uh, suspension of the truck, so that it continues to be in a straight line, even though the truck is yeah. the truck is moving. You remember at bond, so they taste full. Very good. All right, all right. So lift up and pull towards you. Pull you towards go. me. Well, yeah, these U joints were shot, and I'm sure it's. Here you go, Dad. I'm sure it's because of the angle of the drive shaft. These are nasty. All right, so let's uh, how many needle pins are there supposed to be? A lot. Do what? Why are there not those things on the back one? Uh, cause it's a different setup. These can throw that drive shaft on the back of the truck. All right, there you go. Grab that. Yep. No, you're good. Put it on the back. Work on it. It's kind of hard to move on these things. Now let's take this. Take that. Grab this box. Perfect. Bring it where? And we'll do the job, Dad. Y'all are doing great. Okay. Let me try and wiggle that top part out. Yeah, keep going. And then your new U joints will come with. There you go. Yeah. All right. Now we got one more side to do. You want to do this one? No. Yeah, do this yes. one. So this this side and that side. There you I'm go. Gonna do that. You're going to squeeze as hard no, as you can. No, squeeze them together. There mm. you go. Let me try that. See, look here. See how it's got a... There you go. Look at that. Oh, hers came out easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now you take this thing. I want to like clean everything. Like, yeah, 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 it's all like nasty. So this is a U-joint press, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And essentially... Find you a wrench that fast. Yeah. Or socket. Alright, it's probably a... I think it's fine. So what's going to happen is, this right here, this screw... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dirty all that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Seven eighths, maybe? Give me. Gross. Ew! Ew. Uh, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's I know, I want to like clean yeah. everything. Right. Okay, Watch hold on a sec. Let me get this out. All right. Here, this this is the fun part. So yeah. I'll let you I'll let you girls do that. So tighten her up and w this will press fun. this. Can I hold this part? Yeah. Okay, toward the. I gotta go toward the. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with my lefty Lucy's right now. You're doing fine. 
This way. Yeah, this will no. be easy. Hey, no. Mm -hmm. no. Hey, no. Hey, what in the world? Depends on which way you're going. You want the fat part. No. You want the narrow part going the way you're going. Yeah, not come up. <laughs> <laughs> Got to apply. What's the point of this? <laughs> it's going to push this that way so that the, it falls out. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Squeeze. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. There you go. Yeah, it got easier now. <laughs> now you put this, is, this is ratcheting, so if you want to put that box in on there. No, this is easy. I just lied, but uh, this side. Mm -hmm. Not disgusting at all. Well, oh, you gotta take this up. Uh, probably got a hammer. Got yeah. a wrench. Uh, bottom, bottom right drawer. Just hit it. You want me hit it with this wrench? There it went. I got it. Kirk. Oh, they all fell out. Yep. That's okay. What is the point of those? So it runs. So I'll show you when we look at the other one. So those bearings run on this. This. See that? Mm -hmm. This one has here. all of them in there. They rotate. Yeah. Um, okay, now these come back the other way. Oops. Oh, it ain't work. And run it. Tighten that up. Z. Right. Tighten, Tighten that up here. Well, you can do it with your hand until it, until you can't. All right, now put your wrench on there. I literally rented this tool for one hundred and thirty-seven dollars. That's crazy. Ain't that crazy? Why did you rent? Rent Because I didn't know your daddy had more. <laughs> Keep going. Why was it so much to just rent it? Uh, they give you your money back. Because if you don't bring it back, that's how much it costs to that's buy right. it. Oh. Okay, now back her up. So flip the wrench over. Back her up. Why am I backing her up? Yep. Yep. Now you probably get in your hand. It's so much more fun to use the tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't want to. Okay. What? Well, you don't Let me go put this in the vice. Just the inside. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need to push these two together. Why well, did it? it? Didn't work. <laughs> so then I went for an easier one. There you go. Well, now it works when you ask me. To do of course. That's how that's how it normally goes, right? All right. Let me turn the. Uh, I'm going to turn the dry shaft over. Alright, it's pretty clean. Cleaner than it was. Yeah, it was good. You're doing fantastic. Fantastic job! Thanks. I'm trying. You know me, how you like it? Does that look good to you? Yeah. Way better than it did. There you go. I think you're the official snap ring puller outer. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> Look at me, I can pull a snap ring out. <laughs> there you go, you're almost done. Do I need to keep doing it from both sides or can yes, I just pull that one? There you go, you got it. Good job. Alright, so. Alright. Yes. Yeah. There you go.
get. Oops. Put some of that varsity cheerleading arm into it. <laughs> There you go, okay. See, sometimes they're, they're easy like this one. Where they just come out. You know, we just take a pair of pliers and pull those out. Let's go see if that's the same size as the other one, will you? Okay, I got it right here. What's your daddy say? Yahtzee? Yeah, bingo. Okay, now hit, listen. This is why you have to be super, super careful to put these back in, right? <clears throat> because the if you things. pull these, you got to pull this off without messing these needle bearings up, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I mean, if you do, then you messed up big time. Okay, now... Now you take your, um, how you doing there? The pusher blocker thing. And press these back in here. Now, what I like to do, and that's been like years. This way? Yeah. Is I put a piece of tape over there because we don't want these to come off. For what? We don't want these caps to come off. Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. Now, all right. Yeah. Well, let's turn it over. Let's turn it over. Come on. So that your this is on top. No, let's turn the whole drive shaft over. Perfect. Okay, now nah, that might be a little easier. Um. Okay. Which way does it go? Uh, tighten. So we're gonna put it on that way. Yep. This way. Nope. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're gonna want that thing to seat down in there, so we can put that new snap ring in there because this we need to put another snap ring in. So you want to go just beneath the lip there so that we can put that ring in there, okay? Mm, let's that's, go just a little more. There is no way. That's... Just mm -hmm. like... No. Yeah. Right, that's like camera. triple the thickness of that. Oh, right there. All right, now let's back her off. There you go. All right. Good job. Now... Take your, your needle nose pliers and squeeze it together. Like between these two? Mm. Yep. Like between these two? <laughs> like between these two? Oh, I sound so I'm scared. A, I'm a grandma. Okay. Well, you can put it down in there a little bit. There you go. I'm gonna like squeeze. You might need to go up a little because yeah. I think you're pushing on that straight piece. Okay, now go ahead. Yeah. See, these pliers are too far. Like, they're not letting me push down enough, so hold on. That back part. Yeah, you need to push them together again. I'm just trying to hold it for you. Should have went with the back first. There you go. Yeah, it's in there now, I think. Yeah, I think that looks a little gooder. A little gooder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so let me get some tape, and I'm going to run some tape around here. And this just kind of keeps these from coming off, because if those comes off and those needle bearings go everywhere, yeah. as my Spanish-speaking friends would say, no bueno. All right, you want to put this one in? I'm trying to clean it. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> it's so dirty. Polish her up. All right, let's get the other one. This is called a grease fitting, right? Uh -huh. Or grease zerk. Uh -huh. Grease fitting, grease zerk. Then uh, we'll put that like we did the other one. Uh -huh. Take it out very carefully. Yeah. Make sure you don't lose any of the things. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to do it this way. Oh, come on. We're going to have to take both of them out. 
may have to take both of them out. Okay. Here, I'll hold this one. Alright, got it? Yeah. And that's why they pack them full of this petroleum jelly so that it doesn't go in the river. Um, Oh, Lord. So we're going to go pick up a steering column from my buddy Braden Cooper, who's got the YouTube channel called Coop's House. And he's actually going to paint the truck for us as well. So go check out Coop's House. I'll put a link for his channel in the description below. And uh, subscribe to him and watch his content. He's, a, he's got some good stuff going on. Oh, oh no. Now let's try that. That might be enough. <laughs> I think that's well enough. Um, you and your good eyes. I mean, I see the lip, but I kind of think it should go a little further down. Because this metal piece is over the bottom part of the lip. Do I, need, do I need to get my telescope out? No, yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> see, it's kind of... Yeah, I can see the lip part, but I can also see where the part is underneath the lip. Does it look like it's staying in there? Or no? You want to go down a little more? I don't know. I can't. Let's go down a little more. Well, let's try the other side. No, it. it's definitely not in the lip. I can right. see it. And then basically you just got to give it, you just got to give it some surgery. And stand them up. Mm-hmm. And just try your best not to lose any of them. And then they can't be on top of each other. They have to all be. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Let me try. You need to go get the other pick that has the more curved part. Actually, maybe not. I'm professional. Professional needle, needle bearing installer. Put her in her. Yeah, you need the little one that has the more like curved hook so you can grab them without knocking the other ones over. There you go. Fantastic. Now you might be able to use your fingers to press them in there. It's the bottom part not going in that little lip thing. I don't know what the heck. Uh. I don't know if that one's far enough. Well, when we push it on here, it'll... All right, they're all back in there. You know what I'm saying? Assigned seats. I think. Yeah. I think we're good. Okay. Let's center it up a little bit. So back it off just a little bit. Okay, now come on with it. There you go. That's much gooder. Yeah. All right, see the lip, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's back this off. Oh gosh. This thing's heavy. Mm -hmm. I think that'll work. Mm. Maybe, should it look like it? Oh, there. Just click. Uh, yeah, I thought I heard something. Or was that your glove grabbing? No, that was it. Okay, cool. All right. How oh, thick is that? And, and see how nice and snug that is? That's where it's supposed to be. All right, let me put the... Uh... Um, yeah, that's in the little lip. Uh-oh, 
I'm dropping stuff. These are top, and I have the bottoms on this thing. All right, thank you. If those things come off, that's an issue. Don't lose the little caps. Yeah. I'm trying to find. Here you go. And and you don't have to just cut the ones by the cap. You'll be fine. Leave the, you can leave the tape on the rest of the. What what do I need to do? Lean to the left. Yeah, hold it right there, right there. Hold it for just one second. Okay, then we'll start it. Okay. I put it, I put it the wrong way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my Lord. I still got it neutral. I know. But the chalk's behind the back. Right, one more. Uh -oh. Darn it. Let's go back on. No, I did not. Thank you, Jesus. All right, a little more? No, we're good. Uh, wait, we're off. Hold on. All right. All right, hold on right there. I can let it roll back. Get yours up in there. I'm trying. This side's like wiggling out oh, really bad. Hold on. This side's wiggled out really bad. On the bottom, the bottom part. It's like gonna fall out. All right, there we go. That needs to be tightened up. I'm, it's kind of really heavy if you want it to know. I got, I got it with my knee as well. <laughs> So I got right nuts for now. Yeah. I feel like it's way too high. See? Not straight. Yeah, I'm, I know that. Crooked. That too. That'll push up on the dash shaft. <laughs> it ain't moving. Am I, am I hurting or helping y'all over here? Just hold on. Um, I think it needs this. Hold on. I'm trying not to get these pins out because this thing is going to wiggle itself out. It's got to go. Hold on. My arm needs a break. Move the other two. All right, you're right there. Hold on, let me get them started. Hold on. Where you going? Ow. Whatever you were doing, go back to doing it because it just crushed my finger. You're me? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Make sure you make it even now. Don't pull one side tighter than the other side. You right here? Yeah. Make sure them are even when it goes tight. Uh-huh. Don't pull it. Oh, you just push that really far that way. Oh, God. Push it back in. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you need to get them tight for Cool. I'm just waiting to tighten mine down now. Hold on, let me start on the other side. Get this one tightened down some more. There you get under there. I don't think it's going anymore with me. Alright, slide out the back. Yeah, I think mine's in there pretty good too. I'm tight, Jack. Alright! How's it? Sh uh, shake it. Yeah, I think that back, that rear end needs some shims in it, I think. Well, we're going to pull all this back out and pull this yoke out and replace that seal in there. Yeah. Get this leaking. Draft shaft's done. We're going to go get the steering column now and uh, get it taken out. Go to Coop's house. Remember, uh, subscribe to him. If he's putting a 12 valve Cummins in a square body. And uh, so we'll go check that out, get his uh, the steering column out of it, put it in this truck, and we'll be done for today.
All right, got over here to Coop's house. Coop, this is the 12 valve that I was talking about earlier in the video. This is the one they're putting in their square body. You also made it a dually, didn't you? Yeah, so it's actually dually converted. It was a just old fleet side truck when I got it. Yeah. It's gonna be an awesome project. So go to Coop's house, follow this project. It's pretty awesome. And we're gonna go take a uh, steering column out and put it on my truck. Or the girl's truck, I should say. I know you are. I know you is. Yeah, that's that's pretty doggone it's cool right there, dude. We got so much stupid time <laughs> in this truck. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. And like I say, Coop is actually the one that's going to be painting our project truck. So you're going to see a, a, a few more of him, a few more episodes with him on our, our channel as well. So, all right, Coop, let's take a steering column out. All right, so we got uh, an ignition switch, which we may or may not need. What we're going to do is we're just going to try to hook this back up. We're thinking maybe the neutral safety switch was not was not connected, but I don't know. So maybe they tried to bypass it. I'm not sure, but maybe we kicked it off with the foot somehow because it cranked. You know, earlier in that last video, it cranked. So I'm not sure. But we, nonetheless, we got, if we need to, if we need it, we got a new ignition switch, we got a hood latch uh, to fix that, and uh, I think that might have been all we grabbed. But we have a parts truck that we have some access to. Wow. You gonna need a flashlight or anything? Uh -huh. <laughs> this purple oh. wire. Yeah. That's not fooling around, a little tomfoolery. But it looks better. All right, good. But it needs to look deeper. We're going to try to plug this in and just see if it works. I like this thing. It likes you. It does. What you hit, Fred? I'm making sure no fuses are blowed. Did you get it? She's up. Which side does the, the wires go on? I think it's the front side. Well, I don't know now that I look at it. All right, she should work, huh? Nope. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think that switch is... is plugged... Well, see, there's we got two we got two other connections down there that are not connected. Yeah, there wasn't nothing to them. This, this is. You think that feels good? No. What did Eddie do? I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Where'd my Phillips head go? Right there, blue and black. Yeah, if you can just get in there, you don't have to take the thing off. There you go. That's the ignition. Mm-hmm. Really? That's crazy.
But I think you have to pull that screw out. Yeah. What you need me to help you do? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you trying to accomplish? You just inverted that like no other. I didn't just say that. I need this side to go in. You need to back that nut. There you go. There you go. Just like that. There it is. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, now, you might have to help your dad with that what is he flat using? screwdriver. He's taking that snap ring off right there. And him and... I'm get... See that ring he's trying to take off? It's a little get great, bright green one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do I need to do? You need to get it around here where I can see where it is. See it. That comes off. Mm -hmm. I'm in the strike zone. What you need? I don't know, another flathead maybe? <sighs> Are you on another pick? I got another pick up here. Like halfway. Save that tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you got it. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, no big deal. That, yeah. It's big, no big deal. I got it. I got this. Now put it back together, maybe another story. I would think it'd be easier. Some don't lose it. Seems like there's a spring in there. It's just, look at all the... I mean, it ain't been out off in 40 years. Yeah. Give it a little love. Give it a little love. Want some more of this? I can't see. That's my bleaker. Aggravate me not seeing. I ain't doing a whole lot of seeing either. Yeah, but... This one looks different. All right, the girls have gone home, but I went a four hour round trip. I've got to connect, you can't see it, maybe you can, but uh, I put the steering column in, but I connected it. I didn't connect it here, because I wanted to see if the switch worked. And so I got this new steering column in. And so now we just need to see, all right, so far so good. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, so that was our problem. And it cuts off. All right, just a couple things here. I was We put a test light on the uh, starter, and when we turned the switch, uh, we were getting voltage to the starter and the starter solenoid down there, but it wasn't enough to turn it over for some reason. I checked all the wiring. It looked like we did have a skint wire in there somewhere, so maybe that was a problem. But nonetheless, I think the clock spring may have been jacked up in the old steering column. 
but it seems to work now. The next video, we'll have the girls doing like oil changes and things like that. So I appreciate you guys watching. Click on your notification bell and uh, follow along. Go watch the video where we actually picked this, uh, pick this truck up. We appreciate it. God bless you guys.